What up, what up? What up, my fellow soupies? I got a bit of a movie review coming your way of Kingsman the Secret Service. Kingsman the Secret Service is about a rebellious but highly gifted young man who's recruited into a secret organization. The screening process for this secret organization is one in which very few people ever make it out of alive and even fewer make it in to become a Kingsman. I went into this expecting a lot. First off, it's directed by Matthew Vaughn who directed X-Men First Class, Layer Cake, Stardust, and Kick-Ass. And it's produced by the production company Marv who also produced Kick-Ass and are producing the upcoming Fantastic Four film in 2015. That's the year we're in. <laughs> All the trailers look really awesome, but they weren't as edgy as I'd liked, which is what made me slightly hesitant going into this. But what did give me hope was that this was based on the comic done by Mark Miller and Dave Gibbons, which is absolutely incredible if you haven't read it. If you like 21 Jump Street or Lego Movie, then you're gonna like this, because this has that same fresh, unique flavor to it with that 21 Jump Street and the Lego Movie ad. One of the best ads of... Those aren't words. One of the best aspects of 21 Jump Street was that it knew exactly what it was. It was meta. And that's what this is. This knows exactly what it is. Even at one point, Colin First character remarks that the more fun outlandish a film is, the better. And this is just that. This film has a lot of fun with itself. It plays with the action genre, and it's not afraid to take risks when it comes to being a spy film. All the actors involved seem to be having a great time, especially Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson has a blast in his role. He plays the antagonist of the film, and he does so in classic Bond fashion. Colin Firth is truly a revelation in this film. He's slick, dominant, and suave, and his action chops are incredible. There's one scene in particular that I won't spoil for you here, but just know that it's worth the price of admission alone. I was surprised to see that Taron Egerton's name wasn't on a lot of the posters. This is his feature debut, and he knocks it out of the park. He plays this role with the confidence of a veteran movie star, such as Brad Pitt or Matt Damon. He handles the action very well, and he's confident and relaxed. He knows when to dial it back and let someone else have their moment, and he knows when not to. He's definitely lead material, and I hope to see more from him in the future. I didn't even know Michael Caine was in this until the guy at the screen said something about it. And he's great. He's in a very thankless role. He plays the leader of the Kingsman, and he has very few scenes. He's subtle, but he's still great. Mark Strong is great in everything he does. He was even great in John Carter, and here he's fabulous. And oddly funny. The final act is when most of his best moments are, but he still has some great moments during the training sequence. Sophie Cookson plays another one of the recruits, and she takes a liking to Taryn Edgerton's character, and they have great on-screen chemistry, and she's she's definitely also leading material. She, she too knows when to dial it back and when to let someone else have their moment, and she definitely lets Edgerton have his moments, and he he lets her have her moments. Sophia Boutella plays uh, Samuel Jackson's henchman, and she is very much over the top. She is a character that has prosthetic legs that have blades in them, and she cuts people's hands off with them, and that does pretty good. I like that. Now, one of the toughest things to do in an action film is to get the violence right. Do you water it down so it's not off-putting for people, or do you push it as far as you can to make yourself different from other films? It's a very difficult line to ride, and I think this film rides it perfectly. It has the stylized violence of, say, a Watchmen 300 or even Kick-Ass, and that really lends itself to the lighthearted tone, and it makes you like it more. It also helps the comic book tone. The stylized violence is definitely why I enjoyed the action scenes in this film so well, but that's not the only reason. There's also incredible choreography, and the execution of said choreography is also incredible. There are some action scenes towards the end that are hilarious and over the top, and I think, I think everyone can just have a good time, go to this movie, and... And you can laugh, and you can you can smile, and you, I mean you can get naked. Probably gonna get kicked out of theater, cause that's not a little, cause that's not okay. But who knows? Now I think my favorite part of this film is the training sequence. This is the most fun training sequence we've seen since Rocky IV, and it's not a montage. It's the entire middle act of the film. That's where the meat and potatoes lay, like a chicken. It's X Men First Class all over again, but done better and more fun and it's longer. Definitely no holds barred here. This pulls no punches, and this is definitely not watered down. This is carbonated as hell. It's like a knock. I mean, some, thing, some things in this film don't make a whole lot of sense, but who cares? This is just a fun action film, and I had a good time, and I think everyone, I think anyone who goes to see this film can have a good time. If you like comic book movies, then I think you're gonna like this. This is as fun as Skyfall was sophisticated. Kingsman The Secret Service is high octane, sleek, suave, and so much fun. And I, th I recommend that everyone see it, even at full price. Alright guys, thanks for watching. 
I hope you'll check out my last video. It's a it's a Blu-ray review of Nightcrawler, and I hope you'll check out the videos before that because please. Once again, guys, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe.